my gosh, I finally got the smudge off this camera and it looks so much better, yo. <laughs> I've been wiping it forever trying to get it clean. I'm like, how? But I guess it's because I've been using oils on my hands, though. So. Okay. So, I don't even know why I shared that tidbit. But hey, Capricorn, it's your girl Dominique with Empathic Guidance. And I'm back with another video for you guys today. And today, I'm back with your singles love reading for the month of December 2021. And this is what you don't see coming in the month of December as it pertains to love. So, keep in mind, this is not limited to new love. It's just not, guys. It's what you don't see coming. And it can be an ex that you didn't see trying to come back around or a friend that may be vibing with you on a deeper level and maybe they want to commit i mean maybe they want to confess that in the month of december okay so without further ado we definitely going to get like um like what type of energy this person is bringing towards you so let's go ahead and tap in holy divine spirit angels ancestors and spirit guides to the highest white light please use me as a vessel a clear concise channel messages for the astrological sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node for the month of December 2021, which would definitely be partially you guys' birthday season. So, all right. So, without further ado, what's coming in for Capricorn singles as it pertains to love that they don't see coming in the month of December, Spirit? What's coming in? Justice. Justice. A Libra. <laughs> Possibly a Libra or somebody with Libra in their chart. Somebody definitely wants to come balance out the scales, but this person is um, this person is at a distance from you, possibly, and they are hesitant about coming towards you. Um, it's something about this individual where you're trying to exercise some type of willpower. So maybe you promised yourself that, you know you wouldn't deal with this person. I mean, and if you single, I don't know why. I mean, maybe something happened between you guys and you was like, enough is enough. You know, I'm putting the line in the sand. I'm drawing a line in the sand. You don't, you're not allowed in my energy. You're not allowed in my space. I'm not being with you anymore. So I don't know who this is in your life. But once again, it's like this person is wanting to come and make things right between you and them, okay? They try, yeah, you're putting up your boundaries. That's what it is. So they hesitant. So this person could be trying to tiptoe their way to you or they could be trying to get some type of green light before they come towards you. I do feel like you and this person may have like animalistic instincts towards each other. I feel like you guys show up in each other's dream or this person's been dreaming about you a lot. Or they could be trying to show up in your dreams to kind of... <laughs> I heard summon. <laughs> I wasn't going to say that, but summon you, so to speak. And you've been resisting it because you don't trust this person, you know. Um, and I do feel like you guys have some type of soul contract, you know. Um, you guys could have had some type of commitment in the past. It doesn't necessarily have to be or some type of pact that you made. You guys could mirror each other a lot, but like you mirror this person's higher self and they may mirror your lower self energy. That's what I'm kind of getting. All right, so let's go ahead and dig more into the romantic energy of this situation. This person could be kind of controlling and maybe you don't like that. Maybe that's why they're trying to come forth being more fair, being more balanced because they could have been just trying to hover over you just a little bit too much, Capricorn. You know, I see you guys as, as being able to be submissive as a divine feminine, but it's like, I'm, I feel like you are, like you choose who you submit to. Nobody's just going to come in your life telling you that you're going to submit to them, all right? So let's see. Yeah, planning ahead. I feel like at some point you and this individual might have wanted uh, a child together or, you know, you could have had a pregnancy by this person, you know, and it could have been unexpected. It definitely could have been unexpected or that's what this person is trying to come in and do. Or if that has actually happened between you guys where you, you know, uh, possibly lost a pregnancy to this individual and things kind of went left. You know, they want to come back and make those dreams come true because I feel like they still dream about that child, about you, about what you guys may have had at some point because I see that it was a lot of intensity to this connection here. 
and about how life would have been if that never happened or if whatever happened between you guys pretty much um never happened and, and things would have continued to move forward in a positive way so this person could be your divine masculine you know it's like they really was expecting for you to you know, always be there for them. You know, this person never thought that you would ever be to the point where you putting up boundaries against them. But I do feel like a cycle was continuing and nothing was changing. And that's the definition of insanity. You know, this person is hearing a lot of songs too. So I do feel like it's a lot of things that the universe is throwing at this person to kind of invoke emotion from them. Um, make them think of you. They could have tried to reduce you down to lust. And like I said, I was getting animalistic instincts. So yeah, it's something about you too. But it's like you, you closing the door on this person. You feel like they provided you with an illusion. And it could have been very hard to get this person out of your system. And now that you have, it's like you don't want to go back. You see this as a karmic cycle. This person may be one to come in for your birthday or for Christmas to bring you a gift to kind of soften, you know, any reunion between you guys is what I'm seeing here, Capricorn. So I don't know how open you guys are going to be, but this person is definitely hearing a lot of songs on the radio that remind them of times that you guys spent together. You know, it, it just could have like bring forth deja vu. Of times that you guys are actually, you know, hanging out together or songs that you guys may have shared and sent to each other. This, for some of you, this person could make music or like know how to play the piano or the guitar or something, you know, sig significant like that, you know. But yeah, with this big fat no, like this person definitely believes that they minimize y'all's connection down to a sexual one in the past. And... You know, again, there's something here about well-being. Well-being did try to come out, but I just got that for tour. So, you know, I went on and pulled two other cards instead, but obsession, yeah. It seems like this person is trying to tame their obsession. You could have been even obsessed over them at one point. But it's like you felt like that wasn't healthy for you. That wasn't good for your well-being, your emotional or mental well-being. You know, they could have allowed somebody or something to come in between this situation. Now y'all on different pages. It's like you reached a certain conclusion about this person. You feel like they don't regret what it is that they did. Like maybe they showed no remorse at the time, you know, and that's the reason why you like committed to staying like, yeah, true love and marriage is here, you know. So, one of you guys could have been married in this situation. You know, Capricorn, if you single now, you know, you could have been married at the time that you guys were dealing with each other. But you saw this person as your true love, though. And I feel like it's hard for this person to accept that you won't take them back. I feel like somebody work got in the way. But that's not a problem anymore. Somebody could have been a workaholic. Somebody could have been suffering from an addiction. Um, it could have been a sex addiction because I'm getting that animalistic instinct over and over and over. But it was, this was a destined partnership, you know. So that could be the reason why it's so hard to like cleanse this person from your energy. You know, I feel like this was like the right person, wrong time type of situation. Especially if they met you at a time where you wasn't available to really, you know, do whatever y'all really wanted to do and make happen but y'all could have talked about plans in the future something here happened so so again for some of you it's gonna be different either this person could have been trying to trap you with a baby or wanting to have an opportunity to sleep with you so that they could get you pregnant you know and then for others of you, y'all experience an actual loss. And I feel like that's also something that really binds y'all together, you know. Why is planning ahead here in reverse? The Wheel of Fortune, I'm telling you. They want this to move forward. They feel like it's a part of their destiny. They want this to work out, you know. So, again, if somebody was married, they now single, you know, and they want they want you to be open to this. Okay. 
Yeah, but this person ain't coming towards you till they get the green light. And they feel like it's only a matter of time. Yeah, they want to close out a cycle where it was just sex between you guys. Yes, it's travel. And it could be travel delays because of the holidays. Maybe this person is unable to come home before your birthday. So they could be trying to like mail you something or, you know, they could be, this could really be disparaging at this point. You know, so this person is watching you online. They watching you grow. They watching you like spread your wings, become more confident. And they want back in. But honestly, it's like you are so firm with this. With karmic release, cleanse, no gate close, it seemed like you firm on your decision. I don't know what happened, Cappies. Why is self-care in reverse? Ten of Earth. Yeah, you focused on your money. You focused on your money. You focused on long term. You focused on breaking generational curses. You know, you focused on a family business, perhaps. The Empress. Ugh. Some of you guys could be still married and this person is your true love, but that could be why boundaries are up and you like, no. So maybe this was something that happened once and y'all could have really fell in love with each other. I'm not going to lie. It's a part of you that actually wishes this person would come visit you. You know what I'm saying? But maybe you try to limit it to friendship because I'm getting firm knownness. I'm getting boundaries. I'm getting willpower. Some of you guys could still be married. This person is going to come in and surprise you. They can't hold back anymore. Like, they are literally about to blow a gasket. <laughs> they in love with you. They really are. And they not letting you go either. You know? Um. Again, I keep getting the energy of that green light. They really want you to get on the green light, Cappies. They want to let you know... They want you to let them know if it's okay, you know, to, can they stop by to see you tonight? You know, maybe they even already going to be in town, but they just wonder if they can come towards you. Will of Fortune. Or maybe they want, yeah, healing hard in reverse. They feel like you're not healed yet, and that's the reason why. But I feel like you've healed quite nicely. I feel like your money is looking well. Yeah, healthy choices. Whew, so this person is, is like trying not to be as controlling or barging in. They know they broke your heart, you know, but they also feel a deep soul connection here. And they feel like you guys have a soul contract that's not complete. Page of air. Yeah, this person is overcoming addictions like lust addictions. They could have been watching like a lot of porn or like had a lot of dating sites or was talking from a lot talking to a lot of people online capricorn and you just wasn't with it especially if you were somebody that married and fell in love with this person and you was thinking about actually giving up your foundation for this person you was like hell no nah, because they was definitely giving you f boy vibes why is the ten of earth here ascending y'all your money growing you overcoming obstacles maybe this person affected your money somehow or maybe you invested in some things that you had to pull out of because this person came off as not as solid as you thought they was going to be. Y'all could have had a large savings together or something like that. But at the end of the day, you feel like this person was feeding you a dream. So you pull back your energy. You still the empress here. Why is the empress here? So some of you guys could have decided to stay in your marriage. Like, you know what? Hell no. Nah, I ain't got time to be dealing with this. Yeah. Relationship evolving to the next phase. Healing the inner child and growth. You know. So if you was having problems in a marriage and that's why you opened up to this individual, you see them as just like attraction now. Like maybe that was just an attraction. Like you might recognize the, the soulmate connection the way that they do. But you seeing like, okay, maybe I shouldn't be welcoming in this new love. Maybe I should just work on my own. You know, so I don't really know why you coming up as single. I feel like you could be coming up as single. Those of you that's in a committed relationship or married or, you know, others of you, it's like during y'all time apart, you went and got married. You know what I'm saying? Or you about to get married. And so you're not welcoming this person in because some of you have moved on.
Or like I said, if you were separated or something like that, you decide to work it out, honey. But again, this person is, is recognizing you as single. Sudden change, shocking news. So this person want to come in and surprise you. They have some type of epiphany and they want you to be willing to, you know, basically uproot yourself and come towards them. You know, they could have been feeling like they wasn't enough in the past. And maybe that was the reason why um, they were seeing multiple people. But they, they was projecting that onto you by feeling like that. It was like, okay, so since I feel like I'm not enough for Capricorn, I'm going to date other people too and see how that feels to them. And for you, it just created distance because you was really serious about coming towards this individual. And you recognize the connection but they ruined it by like being too lusty and just being, you know, spreading themselves too thin. Now take it, take it as it resonates because it could be a, a cross watcher feeling it's about you as well. So, but at the end of the day though, again, I guess I'm gonna name y'all reading green light because that's what they waiting on. They want to come visit. They've been getting a lot of signs from the universe, a lot of dreams. For those of you that, you know, have lost a child, this person is like really reminiscing and being nostalgic and, and having like that would have energy, like really wishing that, you know, things would have played out differently between you guys. Pop probably wishing that they would have been playing games, you know what I'm saying, with you and just would have kept it straight because y'all probably would have been together by now. But either you guys are newly married or y'all decided to go back and work out y'all marriage. Alright, so like, share, comment, and subscribe. Join the Soul Tribe. And I'm going to check you guys out on the next one.